This is my first update for my new book that I'm reading. I'm reading uh, Saf and Snyder, uh, Complex Analysis. It's a second edition. There's a third one that's a little bigger. But I wanted to buy uh, this one, and it's fine. I mean, it's they're comparable, I think. And so in this case, for Saf and Snyder, the way the book is structured, uh, the first three chapters are short. Uh, chapter 1 is 41 pages and 33, then 27, so, I mean, so yeah, so chapters 1, 2, and 3 are almost as long as the big chapters. Then later on in the book, it's 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Each one of them is very big. So right now I'm making a lot of progress, but it's kind of, uh, it's going to slow down. It definitely is going to slow down. So complex numbers analytic functions, elementary functions, and once you hit complex integration, that's when the really the, the meat of the thing really plays out. Uh, so, so far, I have read all the way into uh, section 2.4. Yeah, I finished section 2.4. So I've already gone over the Cauchy uh, Riemann equations. Uh, so some differentiation in the complex plane. Very interesting, all as always. Uh, analyst, 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 analyticity. I knew I was going to say that wrong. Um, limit theorems uh, for for complex variables, which is the same as reals. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. And uh, I got a little lost here with the arguments, and so this is one one point where I had to stop and say, what does it mean? I get it now. Uh, when you go from the argument zero to uh, two pi over three. If you're cubing it, you're really doing 0 to 2 pi. So really, this, this particular chunk maps to the whole sphere. And then the rest of it maps to the top. I'm getting it now, so arguments. Um, it's got a couple of physical applications, and I, I enjoy those. They remind me of my work back in, when I was in physics uh, and in engineering. So uh, planar sets, which remind me of uh, Jordan regions in real analysis. Uh, so yeah, learning a lot, and uh, this is going to be a, a different, it's a different thing to what I did with real analysis, uh, because with real analysis I did come in understanding a lot of calculus, and so I was just getting at, oh yeah, this is what I saw in calculus. Now, it's not, that's not the case. I'm seeing a lot of uh, things for the first time. But the materials at a lower level, this, this book is really more like a sophomore level book, whereas Wade was more like a junior level book. And so the reading goes faster, the problems go a lot faster most of the time. And so I've read up to here, I, I had already allotted chapters 1 and 2 into July and August. It's summer, I'm going to be going at different paces because I'm going to be vacationing on and off, and I'm sure some of you all are doing the same. Uh, so then when I look at how much I've read, of course, uh, sections are very short. Uh, sometimes I can read five sections in a row in a single day. Uh, today I read three early in the morning. And so the reading is going to go fast in chapters one, two, and three, as you saw, because the chapters are small. Once I hit here, uh, once I hit chapter four, it's going to get slow. This is going to get slow. Uh, then, of course, the problems, there are many, many problems. It's that type of book where the problems are, uh, it's not like Wade where there were 10 problems to a section. And so sure enough, I mean, and some of these problems take literally seconds to do, the early ones, and some take minutes. So this is why I was able to do so many problems. We're only talking about a week, a week and a little bit more worth of progress. Uh, then if I show the notebook, uh, it's only got chapter one so far, um, and so yeah, I read chapter one. Uh, nothing to see here except because it's already, you know, what I showed in the book. Uh, the basics of uh, complex numbers, adding them, subtracting them, dividing them. Um, and then faces, the arguments, angles, polar representation, a complex exponential. The Roots of Unity, which I remember from Number Theory. Very interesting revisit. That was very interesting. Um, and uh, I think that's it for Chapter 1. And then I started doing problems. Uh, I've gotten most of them right, but a couple I've gotten wrong. 
and so and there's a few that I know I'm gonna have to revisit I'm gonna have to revisit the shapes how uh, you compare two imaginary numbers or, or, or an imaginary an imaginary equation and the solution is an ellipse or a parabola I gotta go back so that, those are, that's the only one item in all these problems where I know I have to come back I started grading a problem thinking it was a different one but it's not in the back this I don't even know if I got it right uh, but yeah every now and then I would get something wrong and I am checking the answers uh, for this particular uh, book so I'm checking all the answers uh, and going section by section and plowing through. I plow through and I do all the problems up to usually where the last problem is uh, has answers in the back. Most of the time I've done that. So that's my progress and so here begins Sapp and Snyder uh, Complex Analysis.